Welcome back everyone, my name is Abby. Today's practice is gonna be pretty slow and simple. We won't be doing any upside down stuff. We won't be doing any sun salutations. So perfect if you've just eaten or if you are also super pregnant like myself. For practice, I'd love for you to have two blocks if you have them. And if you have a strap, great. If you have a blanket, wonderful. Not hugely needed, but you may wanna gather those things up. When you have all your props, we're gonna start standing. And this is where you may want your strap. If you don't have a strap, no worries. We're gonna either take the strap around your ribs. So I'm taking it kind of around the lower rib cage and then crisscrossing it in front. If you don't have a strap, you can do a similar thing by just taking the hands to outer ribs. So my thumbs are hooked towards the outside or towards the back and my fingers are, are hooked towards the front. So set up either way. And the idea of this is just to give yourself a little bit of feedback. So by feeling the strap against your ribs or by feeling your hands against the ribs, the intention is to bring a little bit more awareness to your breath. So I'm holding my strap and I'll close my eyes. You can close your eyes as well. And I wanna stay as relaxed as I can in my neck and my shoulders and my face. And as I start to breathe a little bit more intentionally, a little bit more consciously, I'm gonna tune into the feeling of my ribs getting wider and fuller as I breathe in. And a little bit narrower as I breathe back out. So again, with the strap, you may feel your hands moving a little closer together as you breathe in and a little further apart as you breathe out. If you're just holding your hands against your ribs, you'll notice the ribs get wider, hands move apart as you inhale, and then narrower as the hands move in with the exhale. Don't overthink it, just notice the movement accentuated by that feedback of the strap or the hands. And part of the intention for this is to slow the breath down, yes, but also to bring a little more breath up into the ribs and the lungs. Sometimes we are taught to breathe into our bellies or to, to take a big belly breath. That can be useful, but especially if your belly is tight or maybe otherwise occupied growing a fetus or really full from a big meal, it can be really useful to remember where the lungs are to breathe into the lungs, which are fully contained, fully protected by the ribs. Let's take another three or four breaths here. If you wanna move the hands a little bit, or if you've been using the strap and you want to try just using the hands instead, feel free to move the hands. And then you can let that go. So dropping the strap off to the side, letting the hands come down by the sides, and then just taking in a couple sways, gentle sways right to left, shifting the weight from one foot into the other. And then you can start to shift even a little bit further maybe coming up onto the tiptoes or lifting one of the feet, the foot that you're moving away from, and then the other. If you notice that that's 
hard to balance with the eyes closed, you can open the eyes. And again, I, I always notice my hands want to participate. So I'm kind of like swooshing the hands over to one side and then the other side it just feels fun. So if you want to move the arms and the hands, feel free to, they can also kind of help you maintain your balance. And then adding on to that a little bit. So as you balance on one foot, you might even tilt a little bit that direction. Maybe you even circle the torso or the trunk or the arms. And if you kind of fall out of it or touch down, that's totally fine. My balance is definitely a little bit, uh, it's, it's a little less stable these days and it sometimes is. So if that is the case for you too, you're in good company. So a little bit of time on one side and then a little bit of time on the other side. Moving at your own pace, breathing at your own pace. The specifics are up to you. We're just playing a little bit with balance, making sure the breath is still moving slowly and kindly. And then next time you're balancing on your right foot, you can stay there, pick up your left foot, and maybe even pull the knee towards your belly with one or both hands. I'm going to take just one hand to my leg so that my leg can go out a little to the side. So do what you need to to make room for your body. And then from there, we'll step the lifted leg, the left foot, all the way back into a high lunge. And just take a gentle inhale. And then an exhale to shift forward. Knee can lift, arms can swoop down. And then inhale, step all the way back, high lunge. Simple balance practice, shifting forward, lifting a knee, and shifting back as you land the foot and lift the arms. And here, staying tuned in with the breath, so inhaling as the arms reach, feeling again that widening of the ribs. Exhaling as you shift forward, feeling maybe a little toning of your belly muscles, narrowing of the breath. Let's do one more inhale to step back. Exhale to shift forward. And then set the foot down, give the legs a little shake out, arms a little shake out. And then same thing, other side. So shifting the weight over to the left foot, picking up the right knee. One or both hands can hold the right shin or knee as you lift the heart to so finding a nice tall posture as you balance on your left foot. And then from there, stepping your right foot all the way back, landing again in a high lunge, big breath in. Exhale, shifting forward, knee lifts, arms sweep down. Inhale to step the leg all the way back, high lunge. And continuing on your pace. If you want a special challenge, you could close the eyes as you move through this. You could also, of course, hold on to a wall or windowsill nearby if that helps you feel more stable. Stay tuned in with the breath. Let the movement be supported by the breath. Again, we'll take one more big breath in as you step the foot back. And exhale as you shift forward. Set the foot down. You can give both legs a little shake out, both arms as well. And then we'll shift over to the right foot, pick up the left cross the left ankle over the left thigh and reach the hips back and down. Hands can be wherever they want to be, wherever feels supportive. And then coming back upright, send the left foot all the way back, high lunge. And then hands can circle behind you. You can use your strap between the hands if you'd like, or take the hands to interlace, bringing some space across the front of the chest as you lift the heart. 
Maybe you straighten the arms. And then from there, warrior two, spinning the left heel down. And then right into peaceful warrior from here, right hand lifts up and back. You might even want to straighten your right leg. And then tilting forward to side angle, left arm can stretch alongside the ear. And then inhale all the way back up, straight legs, both arms lift. And then shifting over to the other side, simple warrior two, flow from side to side. Inhale, flip the left palm, reach back, peaceful. Left leg could straighten. And then exhale, tilt forward, side angle. Inhale all the way up, straight legs, lifted arms. Exhale, warrior two, right leg bent. Inhale, reach the arm all the way up, peaceful. Exhale, tilt forward, side angle. Inhale, back up, straight legs, lifted arms. Exhale, warrior two, left leg bends. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, once more, rise all the way up. And then this time, goddess pose. So I'm gonna turn both feet out, take the hands to the thighs as I bend the knees. And then it might feel good to rock or sway a little bit right to left. If it feels good to bring a little twist into the body, it's not a big twist, so if, you're, if you also have a fused spine, this, this may actually feel okay for you too. You can dip one shoulder towards the ground as you look the opposite direction. And then back to the center and then other side, dipping opposite shoulder, looking the other way. And then back to the middle. One more little shimmy side to side with the hips. And then all the way up to straight legs, pivot the feet warrior two once more with right leg bent. And then one more peaceful warrior. Side angle this time to stay there for a few breaths and you could keep reaching that left arm alongside the ear, maybe even turning your heart towards the sky. If it feels good to cradle the head with the hand, you could, or maybe you find a half bind. Take another two breaths. And then come all the way back up, shifting to face your right leg again and back in your high lunge. And then shifting forward, stepping both feet to the mat, both legs can shake. And then same thing, second side. So shifting the weight over to your left foot, picking up your right. We'll cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Hips will reach back and down. And then coming back up, sending the right leg back, landing in a high lunge. And then taking the hands back behind you to interlace or maybe connect with a strap, giving your front of heart a little more space. Collarbones are broad, arms might straighten. And then warrior two from there, right heel meets the ground. Arms reach apart as you bend that left knee. And then inhale, peaceful warrior option to straighten your left leg. And then exhale to tilt forward, side angle. Same simple flow as on the first side. Inhale, lifting all the way up. And then exhaling, warrior two with right leg bent. You could even close the eyes, especially as this flow is now more familiar. Inhale to peaceful. Exhale, tilt forward, side angle. Inhale all the way up, straight legs. Exhale, warrior two, left leg bent. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, side angle. 
Inhale all the way up. Exhale, warrior two, right leg bent. Inhale to peaceful. Exhale to side angle. Inhale all the way up. And then this time, goddess pose. Both knees bend. This time, maybe the, you take the hands out into cactus. If you're feeling like working the legs a little bit more, if you'd prefer more support, hands can, of course, be at the thighs. So wherever you are, a couple more breaths. Really letting the feet and the legs and the back be strong, especially if the arms are in cactus. You might feel the, the upper back muscles engage, pulling the shoulder blades just lightly towards each other. Feet, especially heels, can press down and wide, so outer hips are pretty strong. And then straighten the legs. We'll pivot the feet warrior two with left leg bent. And then peaceful warrior once more on this side. Exhale, tilt forward, side angle. Staying here a few breaths. Options for the arms include just reaching alongside the ear, maybe holding the head, taking a half bind. And then coming up and back to a lunge with the legs. Stepping the back foot forward, standing, maybe giving the legs another shake. And then simple quad stretch from here, shifting the weight over to the left foot, picking up the right and taking the hand to meet the ankle or foot as you pull the heel towards your glutes inner thighs are going to draw towards each other. If your hand can't quite reach the foot here, you could use your strap, loop it around your foot. It's a little bit awkward to get there, but it can be done. And just pull the, the heel in that way. A couple more breaths, whatever version you're in. Feel free to stabilize with a nearby wall. And then release that side. You can shift over to the other side. Weight comes into the right foot. Left hand or strap holds the left foot. Inner thighs pull towards each other. Heart is lifted. Belly might also slightly lift. Still with the expansion of the ribs, each breath. And then release that side, give the legs a little shake out. We'll take a deep squat from here, Malasana. Feet can go pretty wide, hips can sink down. And depending on where you are for this squat, forearms might be resting on the thighs or even actively pushing against the thighs. Or if you're lower down, elbows could press the knees apart. You could also sit up on blocks if that makes life a little easier so that you don't have to worry about the balance element, you can just kind of sink into the hips and let the feet hold you and the butt hold you. And then from there, we'll rise all the way up to standing. Urdhva Hastasana-ish. Feet can stay wide and, and kind of pointed out. And then with your exhale, we'll come all the way back down as low as feels reasonable. And then inhale all the way back up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, squat all the way back down, Malasana. Inhale again all the way up. Exhale, squat all the way down. Twice more, inhale all the way up. Exhale, squat all the way down. 
Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Take an inhale in Malasana. Exhale to stay. And then once more, we'll inhale, rise all the way up. Arms can be by the sides, feet can come back towards each other. You can shake out the legs. 